In this video, I'm gonna be explaining match coverage and how to utilize it and its primary purpose for defense in Madden 23 and really any Madden that you play. Now, if you wanna get my entire match coverage defensive ebook that teaches you the ins and outs of not only all of the principles and rules of match coverage and how it works, but also how to apply the defense to the best offenses in the game, such as trips, bunch tight, you trips, bunch tight in, right? How to shut down some of the best offenses in the game with this match coverage. If you wanna get access to all of that, you can join our Patreon for just 10 bucks. You're gonna get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks, including the match coverage guide. Now, real quick, if you wanna play match coverage at a high level, I really recommend the 3-3 Cub version of this. Um, we're gonna be utilizing the play Cover 4 Show 2. This is Cover 4 Quarters. It's gonna play very similarly. The main reason I like the 3-3 Cub for match, a couple reasons. One of them is you're going to be able to uh, have really good adjustments from the formation. You're also gonna have really good personnel, and I like basing out of Cover 4 Quarters versus Cover 6 or Cover 4 Palms because they are a little bit different. Now, with that being said, your coaching adjustments, we're gonna have our auto flip set to on. We are gonna have our zone coverage set to match and we are going to be audibling down from the nickel 3-3 and one of the quick tips I did want to give you is if you put the safety at nickelback package on your field it is going to really really aid and really help with kind of leveraging the power of match coverage um, because you're going to be able to create some really cool concepts within the bigger picture of defense so without that prerequisite let's get on the field I want to quickly explain this from a spread out formation I want to show how it applies to um, more standard formations. So we're just gonna come out on a two by two spread. So match coverage, oversimplification, but here it is. Um, these outside, the, these quarters are what's known as man on demand or sky coverage. So what this means is this corner or outside quarters relating to the number one receiver on his side of the field. The number one receiver would be the uh, receiver that is the first outside receiver. So in this example, it's Carmichael. The slot receiver here, which is number 11, he is the number two receiver, Julio Jones. Now your inside quarter is gonna be relating to the number two receiver. Now, really, really important, notice this three wreck in the middle of the field. A quarters coverage or match coverage typically is going to be a split field coverage, which means you can literally divide the field in half from the center across and the coverage is going to be significantly different so the coverages are separated if you think about it so um, you think about cover three it kind of works together this is this side of the field this is relating over here to the right and then over here this is relating to the left now the big thing with match coverage also is we're trying to get as many triangles as we possibly can in our coverage system. Let me give you an example. This quarter flat defender, this inside quarter defender, and this outside quarter defender, they form a triangle over the two routes or the two receivers on their side. The same is true, the same is true here on the right. We have that triangle from this quarter flat, this quarter, and this quarter, okay? Now the three rec is referring to the three receiver or the number three receiver in the formation. In this example, that is going to be the running back. Now that changes formation to formation, but in the basic vanilla two by two formation, this is how the coverage works. And essentially these quarter flats, they are basically going to jam the number two receiver if they run vertical and then work to the flat. Their primary, basically think of them almost as like hard flats um, or curl flat zones probably more accurately. Now, the other thing with this is they are basically these, these outside or these quarter zones are asking one very simple question. Does my responsibility run vertical? If not, then I'm going to help out on the other receiver. I'm going to create that triangular uh, kind of bracket or cone uh, coverage. So what you're gonna notice here is in this combo, we're going to drag uh, Jones and we're gonna post Carmichael. And what you're gonna see here is that safety is gonna let that go down underneath and then he's going to rob the post of number one. So that's kind of a general idea of like how coverage, how uh, match coverage works in Madden. Now, I wanna get into um, what this looks like, formation formations, Let's, we're gonna try uh, some kind of like trips formation, uh, like a U-trip style formation. So, we're still trying to do basically the same thing. We're trying to create triangles 
over the cop. So essentially what we're gonna do here is now we're gonna create kind of two folds, a two folded triangular system. So we don't really have three. Um, we have five over three on the right, and then really we're kind of one on one on the back side. So the triangle is not going to apply to your solo. Back here, you're just gonna utilize two cover players. And, and really this is exactly how that coverage is gonna play over there on the left side. It doesn't matter if they're in the zones, they're playing man to man. Now let's come back over here to the right for a second. Where is our triangle? Our triangle is this quarter, this quarter, and this quarter flat. Okay, now what about the tight end? How does that play into it? Well, the tight end is going to be triangled with this three rec, quarter flat, and quarter. Or uh, maybe even better, you're still getting kind of a triangular concept here, and you're getting a triangular concept here, okay? So for example, let's say they run like a flood, you're gonna see here that that flood route is going to get matched by the three receiver hook in the triangular concept of the coverage. The idea is if we have three over two, we are always able to double team the best routes on the field, the best routes on the formation we are able to really hone in on. Now let's cross apply all of this information to gun tight and talk a little bit about why tight is so hard to defend. Tight is so hard to defend a couple different reasons, but the biggest reason is because it's it's literally a glitch formation. If you try to run match on it, um, this corner right on the left almost always gets separation. He didn't there, but he almost always gets separation. And the reason is because the coverage is essentially broken. Um, it really works well to the running back side because why? Well, we get a box or we get a triangular concept over the top. So if they run a, if they run a, a flood uh, to the right side, and I'll show it to you here, this is gonna destroy any kind of flood concept to this right side. You'll see right here, the triangle really works well and we're able to trade swap and, and swap off routes uh, and take them away. So really the only side of the field that you have to really worry about is this left side of the field because this left side of the field, the triangle is basically broken um, or obstructed by the fact that this quarter flat is the dumbest zone that I've ever seen. So what I like to do, um, and, and what, I would, what I would tell you to do, is to basically play a fairly simple coverage that is still gonna create a triangle type of concept. And that is this, we're going to put a cloud flat out there on the left. We're going to then, um, let me get this fixed up here. We're gonna have that cloud flat over there on the left. And then we're going to man up one of these players. So in this example here, we're gonna man up this left side player just like this. And this right here will play quasi okay um, against us. It's gonna make that quarter flat a lot smarter or that inside quarter a lot smarter. And he's gonna be able to help bracket that corner route over there on the left side. So if you get an out route and an out route or a corner route like bench, or even if you get a big corner and a little corner, um, this is gonna make this coverage significantly better. And again, all we're doing is we're saying, hey, you don't have to worry about number quarter flat, you don't have to worry about the sideline. We're gonna have that taken away. This guy's gonna be the X factor, and then we're gonna man up on this guy. So we're still kind of creating a borderline triangular concept um, triangular concept on this coverage and what you'll see here, maybe they try to run something like this and they're running right into that cloud. We also know that short side cloud flats play a lot better than wide side cloud flats based off of the grid system that Madden is already, uh, is already built on. So essentially, um, we're kind of just creating a little bit smarter of a match defense. Now, if they were to motion, let's say real quick, they were to motion this running back over here, okay, really important. If we're in this coverage, we need to audible back to cover four show two, and we need to do the same thing over on the right, but this time we're not gonna cloud because the cloud is irrelevant on the wide side of the field, but rather we're gonna third. So we're gonna outside third this defender on the right, and then we're going to middle third this. So we're still getting kind of that triangular style concept, especially against a compression set, and then you still have that underneath quarter flat, which you can make a curl flat or a hard flat, however you want to justify it. But now what you're going to see is even if they do try to run a clear out kind of concept here on the left side, you got your triangle and on the right side, that third is going to match that extremely, extremely well. 
So that is what match coverage is and kind of how to use it against one of the more popular formations, gun, uh, any kind of compressed set. Uh, we have a lot more detail on this defense in our Patreon. If you want to become a member, it's only $10. I would advise you to head down to the description and go check out the Patreon. You can get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of the updates and any new stuff that comes out uh, while you are a Patreon member. So thanks for watching and go check out the Patreon page.